We all want to be safe when it comes time to venture out of our homes for our essential items. But to what extremes do we really need to go? Here with tips from OSF Heart of Mary Medical Center is Dr. Ronald Kosman. Thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. Kosman. Good morning. Well, good morning. Let's talk a little bit about the misconception there is around wearing latex gloves when it comes time to doing our shopping or everyday things outside. Right. This is an interesting topic to me. I notice a lot of people around town wearing gloves for some of those things as an example that you gave, which doesn't really make sense in the current context of this COVID epidemic. And what it occurred to me was that it makes sense in the context of the reason that people usually wear gloves. People wear gloves for the most part throughout their lives to protect their hands, whether it's protecting them from chemicals or heat or sharp, art, sharp, sharp objects or dirt. They're doing it to keep that thing off of their hands. The difference in this situation is that there's really nothing directly bad about having coronavirus on one's hands because it doesn't absorb through the skin, it absorbs through mucous membranes, which means mouth, nose, eyes. And so that's how it gets into your body, not through the skin, not by your hands. The thing that's a problem about having coronavirus on your hands is that you then use your hands to touch other things and spread it to other places where it can be transmitted to other people. Or you can spread it to yourself by touching your face. If you have something on your hand, and you touch your face, you've now transmitted that coronavirus potentially to near your mucous membranes and you may give yourself COVID. So when you, so, let me let me give you an example of what I've noticed. When I have gone out and shopped or done, you know, my essential stuff and I see employees wearing gloves, shouldn't they be like swapping out gloves with every like customer or, or something along those lines? Because then isn't it defeating the purpose of protecting, I guess, the customer? I don't know, does that yes, make sense? I think you're exactly right. I think people consider themselves kind of bulletproof or COVID-proof when they're wearing gloves, but it's just another thing that transfers the virus. So yes, gloves are useful if you take them off or sanitize them after coming into contact with something that's potentially contaminated. But you can do the same thing with your bare skin on your hands. That's why there's people, that's why everyone's advocating hand washing or hand sanitization. Now let's right. Continually touching things just spreads the virus around because it's sitting on the latex gloves rather than sitting on the skin. You can clean the skin. Now let's talk a little bit about wearing the masks because that is different than the, the rules of wearing the gloves, I guess. Right. So gloves in public are actually not recommended. Masks now have come to be recommended. They weren't initially. And the issue with that is again, how it's spreading. People wearing masks aren't protecting themselves from the environment. They're protecting the environment from them. And the reason that's important with, which I'll come back to, the reason that's important with this particular virus is that we found that people are able to spread this virus around before they've even become symptomatic. So that's very different from influenza where you know when you're symptomatic is because that's when you're sick. What we find is that 20 and as much as 50, as many as 50% of people who are infected with this coronavirus are able to spread it around prior to the onset of symptoms. Now, so that means there are people walking around in the world who may have this coronavirus and they may be coughing or even we find just breathing and spreading it around. So the benefit of wearing a mask is to prevent yourself from unknowingly spreading the virus. People who wear, are wearing masks aren't protecting themselves from getting the virus because if it's gonna hit them in the face, it's gonna hit them in the eyes also and may come in to their body. They're preventing themselves from unknowingly spreading it outward to the world. Now, let's say we can't convince anybody or a few people about not wearing gloves and they decide they're still gonna wear them, so be it. Is there a proper way to take them off? That's an excellent question. Um, once you have the gloves on, presumably the outside of the glove is contaminated. So to take them off, you wanna take your dirty hand, the outside that still has a glove on, grab the glove, pull it off, so you're still holding the outside dirty side. Now you've got your clean hand, reach underneath the cuff of the other glove to the inside and peel it off. And then probably wash your hands then good afterwards. Exactly. 
All right, great tips. Thank you so much for sharing those and, and helping us all to stay a little safer when we're out and about. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me on. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. If you need any of those tips from Dr. Kosman, we'll have them all on CILiving.tv. Enjoy the rest of your day.